Ayan, to be delivered to us by our shoutcasters, Butters and Yuko. Give us the action. <laughs> Okay, so this is going Alrighty, to be game so number two. so ladies and two. gentlemen, it's game two. Okay, so... Alright, so yeah, we will be your casters. Yeah, we are going to be your shot casters. I am Butters. I'm with Yuko. And Yuko, what are your thoughts? You've heard how the panel, you know, handled the picks and bans. And what are your thoughts about uh, this certain setup that Sunsparks did and the certain adjustments that they made coming into game number two? So first off, I'm gonna have to say that we are not in sync at all, given that this is an online cast. But uh, I have, to, I would have to say that they have the same draft except for the Selena, but now they are in their actual roles. And as I was speaking, Kilowatt was actually able to secure that first blood. So okay, this could be the momentum that Sun Sparks was missing out or wasn't able to secure in game one. Just like Wolf said, he wants to see a game three. I honestly want to see a game three as well. So let's see what will happen. But this is the early game. So we are just gonna keep it uh, slow and steady. Also, I would like to give a quick shout out to my my mom as well as to Johan, to Ricky Rory, to Joe, and to Pao is now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Do not forget to share the live stream. But look at that! Rafflesia was able to take out that Valir and looks like they still want more blood. Roger was able to take out one person. The Greed able to take out that Kufra. But is the reinforcements too late? Looks like these three members from Sunsparks are still going all out. They cannot actually resist that early game damage they don't care they're just playing around but no kilowash actually got taken out greed able to dash out by just the skin of his teeth just the skin of his teeth indeed and soren here will get caught out by that abyssal arrow rumple just staying there just trying to give a certain amount of uh, backup to his ally and kill vj and the others jp they're really just trying to you know have uh have a good time in terms of farming they didn't have the liberty of doing this into game number one so what they did was they really just tried and take it take it down right now but dominus is gonna get caught out by that certain abyssal arrow it won't be enough to take him down but sun sparks here they're really getting the hang of this certain show match. Game number one didn't really look great for them, but with their uh, fixed roles and setups, they might actually just take us to a game number three. They can and they should. I don't want to end the game or end the series rather with a 2 0. Esmeralda still got taken out by the thumbs. You know what? That's a good thing because mid to late game if that is where the snowballs she can literally just use her ultimate onto anyone looks like someone got stunned there that was actually greed oh no he actually got taken out jp with that link what will you do he was able to take out Valir greed trying to make sure that other members are being zoned out while his other teammates are actually taking out the members from geek fam looks like that super jumped in but Ling with that ultimate able to take out that sword. Nice micro coming in from JP right there. He got stunned, but the damage is actually not enough. Rafflesia receiving a lot of damage. But he was able to go back under the turret safety, but still got taken out by the Roger. Okay, in game one, we saw Roger getting five kills at like, what? The eight, nine minute mark. But now it's just almost four minutes. He's already 5-0. So Sunsparks, please do something about this. But they were able to get the turtle. Now, it's the turtle game that's really uh, gonna uh, settle the score between the early game uh, setups that they made. They have arts on that Esmeralda with a 0-3-2 and he really needs that certain turtle take. But to his dismay, he it will go to the side of Sunsparks and he has to wait 90 more seconds for the next iteration of that objective. But right now, JP... He is top one Ling in the Philippines. So you can't really, you know, just give out this mm -hmm. Ling and expect to go out unskated and have an easy game. It was KLBJ who used him on game number one. It didn't really work. But for game number two, JP is just happy that he has one of his best heroes on his hands. Even a joke that um, they're gonna name JP's offspring Ling. <laughs> He's that good with Ling by making the watch go 1v1 here at that. 
bot lane, but look like he actually has reinforcements coming in. Valir just there at the sides. Roger forced to go back. He does not want to jump into something that he isn't sure that he is going to win. That's four members from Sunsparks right now at the pit area, but Soren just giving vision to his team. It's going to be Ling de la Cruz for the baby of JP. Just kidding. It's not going to be named Ling de la Cruz. It's, it has another name. I forgot you, if you probably know about it. But that, JP is a new daddy just in time for Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everyone. But father time here for JP is just trying to take down Arts. Arts having the bit of protection coming out from his uh, armor. But yeah, it wouldn't really matter because he's just going to get forced out. Dominus here will be the next target. And look at this. Tempest of Blade. It's well time. JP here just going for the pokes. He will keep on poking and the damage will be enough to take down Rumpel. Rumpel on the other hand will just answer with his own flicker and Zorn here with the TPs, the recalls and Rafflesia and him having a good time. The only difference is Rafflesia will just bait, bail out with the squid. Well, well played. I mean, that, that's actually really cute. They just teeth eat onto each other's faces before they went with, own, with their own businesses. Turtle already being slain by JP. So, okay. Things are looking pretty well for the funnel hero from Sunspark sides. Let's see what is going to happen next. Thumbs, I believe, will try to go one on one again with this Roger. But of course, Sorn with that first kill coming from Bakshan. Nah, -uh, you're not going to get away that quickly. Um, One Abyss Hour coming from Greed. He dashes in. He wants to get and take out that Roger Sword thus is the one that got taken out first though and this battle being picked up by Kilo Wash right here and these two are just being on the turn and JP doesn't care he actually jumped in and that is kill after kill coming over for Sunsparks look at the bodies hitting the floor from the side of Geek Fam only Valir is the only one left alive for for none in favor of teams of team Sunsparks 7 is to 15 for the, for the kill score right now is staying there trying to take down Dominus. Dominus here will probably go down. He does have the flicker, but it won't really matter as JP will just preemptively dash in, poke him, and they try to take down the turrets. The defense coming out here for the side of Geek Fam. Geek Fam here. They take out the minion waves. At least. They will stop the push from there. But Kiel VJ is just, you know, toying with them, just, just trying to. Uh, damage them a bit, push them back a bit so that there is a bit of a leeway here for the side of Sun Sparks to push again. While Kill VJ here is probably just waiting for the right time to throw out the last insanity into their faces. And uh, yeah, I mean, Yuko, how do you fight this if you're Geek Fam? I mean, if game one was one sided, game number two was there is definitely one sided as well. And Rumpel here trying to bounce out out of trouble literally not gonna work as kill vj goes in with the last insanity but kill vj here he will be assisted by his teammates jp on the other hand tempest of blades and people from geek fam aren't going down easily but they are not stopping this siege true and well this is the sun sparks that we know if they're not just steamrolling onto your faces. They're not sun sparks. If we saw them struggling or maybe just being very chill in game one, it's not the same here for a game to look at that last last insanity being committed right there on the turn. But looks like they just want to end the game almost immediately. And the that ling hurts a lot, but Tom does get taken out. Will Sun Sparks be able to end this? Looks like they just want to. And we shall see what is their game plan. And that is gonna be game two coming over to Sun Sparks. We have a one-one, ladies and gentlemen.